Hi, Joanna Hadaraska, Nutrition in Motion, Nutrition for Body, Mind, Spirit, and Sport. So a lot of you may know that I do work with essential oils as well as um, not just the anti-inflammatory diet. And last year I had a nice little um, accident on my bicycle where I kind of landed in slow motion on the hood of a car and just completely compressed uh, everything on my thigh. So I created a little essential oil blend for me to help he heal the area a little bit better and kind of just make it feel better. And this morning I found out that one of my friends landed her bike and uh, put her motorcycle basically on her leg. So um, not a good thing, but I'm going to head over there and make a an essential oil blend for her so that she can actually feel better and that, that um, the swelling can go down. I'm also going to stop at the CVS to get her some witch hazel because that's also witch hazel astringent is great for inflammation and kind of taking um, the the ache out of it. So I'm just going to go through some of the oils that I typically use. So peppermint is a great oil for increasing the circulation. So when you have something like a hematoma from, you know, falling uh, or from so something falling on you, the peppermint will help to increase the circulation. So that will actually help to decrease the, the bruising. Helichrysum. And I don't know if you can read this, but helichrysum is actually for pain and it, can't tell you exactly all the, the the things, but it is specifically for pain, and I'm going to use a drop of that in her blend. Lavender, and most people know what lavender is. Lavender is great for calming the nervous system, so it will actually calm the area around where the hematoma is and where that bruising is, so that, again, it will ache a little bit less, because it's all about aching less, correct? Um... The next one that I'm going to add in is clove because clove, most of us will know clove as, you know, you stick it in your, your spicing, in your apple, um, apple juice or, or apple cider in the winter and it smells nice. But clove is actually a great antiseptic and it's also a really great analgesic, which means it's great for numbing. So it numbs the pain. When I have a burn on my finger, I put the lavender on and then to stop the throbbing, I put the clove oil on. So I'm going to put that into my friend's blend because we need to have the throbbing stop. Um, so then you don't have to take any ibuprofen uh, or any other painkiller. Another one is called Deep Blue, which helps the, the muscles and also this will help for, with increased circulation, kind of reduce the aches and pains. Um, and it's great for, especially if you've overused muscles um, when riding your bike. So that'll be another thing to add into, into the blend. Aroma Touch, this is actually called the Massage Blend. So it just is going to make it feel a little bit more soothing, a little bit more um, calm, and will work really well with the, the lavender. Turmeric, we all know what turmeric does. It's an anti-inflammatory. And yes, there is an oil, and yes, you can put this on topically to actually insist in that anti-inflammatory, um, anti-inflammatory, whatever you want to call it. We just want to make it less inflammatory. Reduce the inflammation. Thank you. So the next one that goes in that category as well is um, ginger. So this one comes in an oil as well. Uh, I will suggest to her to also try to drink some ginger because that will also help from the inside out to reduce that, that inflammation. And last but not least, this is copaiba. And this is one, it's a fairly new um, phytocabinoid essential oil. And it's from um, the Amazon forest coming from the, actually it's a resin from the copaiba tree. And it is very similar to CBD oil, except that it's a primary pathway instead of a secondary pathway. And it will actually amplify the, um, the benefits of the other oils as well. Plus it's also anti-inflammatory. So I'm going to put a blend together in probably a five milliliter bottle just because, well, it's not going to be something that she definitely needs to have on a daily basis for a month. It's something that she'll need for a week, but n enough to be able to use for that week. So just a review, I'm putting in Here's my whole collection. So peppermint, clove, deep blue, helichrysum, lavender, aroma touch, ginger, 
turmeric and capiva oils. And I'm going to put that in, and hmm, what should I call it? The no ouch blend? Um, reduce the ouch blend? I don't know. I'm going to come up with some kind of a name for her, uh, for her blend, because Anything that we can do to actually help the body's circulation and reduce the inflammation and increase the the um, the ability for it to heal, that's what I'm all about. So we're going to do the anti-inflammatory uh, diet suggestions for her, but also use the oils for that um, that particular use. So if you have any questions about how to use essential oils, how to implement an anti-inflammatory diet, even if it's just for a short period of time uh, from an injury or from a fall or something of that nature, just reach out to me, Joanna Hodorowska, www.nutritioninmotion.net.